Hey guys, it's Quinn from PTSD While Black. Um, I had an interesting experience this morning at my women's group. We all shared different things. There were newcomers and people were in different places with, with how they were feeling and what they were experiencing today. And one of the ladies shared that she was upset about not being able to fix her life. And that some days she just wants to check out of life completely. What I found so beautiful in our group, because what we are doing as a group of women, we're trying to learn not to fix other people's problems, um, but to to learn how to set boundaries for ourselves and, and to learn how to validate another person's experiences is kind of what we're doing together. What I loved about our group is everyone just shared their own experiences. And there was something within me that was feeling, man, I really want to, and I was facilitating today. So it's like, ah, but I was really wanting to, um, reach out to save her. And I realized it's not my job to save her, especially in this group. We're learning to deal with these things, um, to empower ourselves, to, to seek help when we need help. Um, and to not keep trying to fix other people. Um, so it was great because our group is like, everybody can share with whatever their experience is at the moment, whatever you're feeling at the moment, whether it's angry, happy, sad, crazy, corny, whatever, raging on your period. We share that too. Um, anything. <laughs> Uh, and I love that in this group, nobody crosses and says, oh, you should do this or don't do that or don't feel sad or anything like that, but just let her have her experience. And when it came my time to do a second share, because I, I had already shared about what I was needing to get off my chest, I was like, you know what, I'm really, I, what I'm saying here is that I'm appreciative that we get to have our own experiences. And I've learned for myself that when I'm allowed to have my own experience, even if I'm having those days where I don't feel like I belong in the planet, or I don't, you know, no one's going to understand what I'm going through. Um, when I have my own experiences, I get the chance to allow that part that is within me to rise up to solve whatever the issue is I'm going through, whatever the challenges I'm going through. When I get to be alone with that experience, to sit down and be at peace with the loneliness, the fear, the angry anger, or even the feeling of, of um, about death or suicide or what have you. When I sit down with this, um, it gives me a chance to find out what it really means to me, to ask questions about it, to um, find out why is this feeling here? What, what is its purpose right now? What is it that I'm really needing or, or, um, what is my responsibility in this moment? Whereas most of us, most of the women in our group, it's like, we've had people telling us what the hell we should do all of our lives. Oh, you should do this. You should do that. Don't feel sad. Don't feel bad. Think positively or what have you. And it's, I'm sorry, I don't have a clear train of thought. I've been up since four, but, um, having done that, people have robbed of us, robbed us of our own ability, or we've allowed people to rob us of our own ability to fix this for ourselves. Instead, we've allowed people to make whatever it is we're feeling about them. And so now we have to rely on them for the answers. And we're trying to reclaim this as women of, I can figure this shit out myself. Thank you. Um, it's not the, uh, and like hearing her share, she's like, at the end, she was like, you know, I'm just so grateful that you shared that it's okay to feel what the fuck I'm feeling right now. Having that as a reminder. Um, Versus don't feel it or don't be a failure or whatever that society, our families, 
what our relationships, whatever may be telling us. Um, and I watched this woman's face go throughout the meeting from being very stony to sad to grateful. I've, I watched her expression change throughout the meeting because she just got the space to ha say what the fuck she needed to say, how she fucking felt. And we were able to say, we love you as you are. As you are in this moment, we love you. And I, my mind is just blown because what if the world, what if the world actually operated like this on the regular? If we engaged with people and if they're being messy, if they're petty, they're bitchy, whatever. It's that I love you as you are right in this moment. You are perfectly fine just as you are. I respect you. They can get done with the business of uh, trying to convince you and me of what they're feeling and go on to healing themselves. Life would be a better fucking place. So I asked that question of why is it when we see someone who is struggling or who is in uh, in pain or having a bad day, why do we choose to feel bad as the people watching that experience? Why do we choose to feel bad? When I look at it for myself, it's because I have my own inadequacy that I can't fix their problem. And that has to deal with me. That's my own self-esteem. That's my own issues. It has nothing to do with what that person's going through. That's all about me. But yet, a lot of times when people will approach another person, we tend to make our own inadequacies about that issue that someone's going through. Your grandma died? Yeah, I can't bring her back. Nobody asked you, motherfucker! <laughs> so... That's, that's just where I am. That's a little thought of what I'm feeling. And um, I'm finding with my PTSD, if I just allow myself to express just as I am in the moment, I'm able to get the fuck over it a lot faster. And I don't keep repeating the trauma. I don't keep trying to come up with new answers to resolve it. Till next time. Peace.